in previous lecture we will see that uh, how to build a kg tree now in this lecture uh, we will see how to find the nearest neighbor points by simple this using uh, kg tree suppose let's take this this is our query point suppose let's take um, this xq is our query point this is xq is your query point and corresponding this is <coughs> xq what would be the value of this suppose let's take for this point our uh, our our for this point for this point our uh, the the image of our x axis is equals to xq and the image of this point uh, in the y axis is let's take in this image in y axis is yeah yq okay so let's take suppose let's take now we are find the uh, one nearest neighbor for this point so how to find it <coughs> so suppose first compare this one so what is is x is the square point is less than is equals to x1 so what is our x1 x1 is here x1 is here first i am using it. our x1 is here we are comparing yes it is less than is equals to x1 now we are taking this path uh, now we are comparing the y1 so our yq is here yeah, this one this this our yq is less than is equals to y1 and uh, yes no actually it is greater than y1 so now we are less taking the this path um, if we take a reasoning this one now, now we are comparing our x is less than is equals to x5 x5 is what where is our x5 our x5 is here here is our x5 no actually it is the greater than of x1 now we are simply reaching this 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 uh, here simple we are reaching here for this for this one uh, see so the near point nearest point of this x q is what is this this point this is the nearest point this is the simple nearest point of this of this query point now in the next step what we are doing we have to do in the next step that we have to build a circles uh, by, by simple taking this radius simple we have to find the distance from this point c to this query point and we have to build a circle around this point like that we have built a circle like that okay by using simple d and in the next step we have to find a in the in this circle or q or simple cube or simple uh, uh sphere in three dimensional it will be like a sphere in a dimensional it will be a, a, a it will be like a a and the nd sphere by simple just let's take it it's a two dimensional set so if you just consider this circle using this uh, this distance as a radius so here we have seen one point uh, is lie on this uh, on these regions of the circle this is the e but the re the but the e is in the another regions but the re e is lie on another regions now how we consider this um, e as the one nearest point now let's take now let's find the which line is intercept first so here if you see the y is equals to y1 this line is intercept our whole circle okay so if we now we have to find the where is our actually y is equals to y1 so here here is our y is equals to e y1 now to find now we have to decide what is the point there now we have to decide what is the point that is lie on these regions now come now we have to come here so we have to come what is the point that is we have reaching here and this path is already we have taken now we have reaching this part x is less than is equals to x2 what is our x x is equal to xq so our xq is less than is equals to x2 xq is less than is equals to x2 x2 is what x2 x2 uh, x2 i think here i think this is the x2 yes our x2 our xq is less than is equals to our xq no our xq is greater than is equals to x2 x2 here x2 but xq is here not less than it is our greater than so we are follow this part and we have reaching that this point is e we have go, gone through the, uh, come here so what we are doing first we have comparing use by simple than root node and we are uh, we are getting one point and according to the distance of the square point we are just build a circles and we have find in the circle there have any point yes if there have any point we have find the interceptor of these circles 
and on this intercept on this interceptor we are, are going the another part and we are simple reaching to this part so this is the simple trick that uh, we have used to find the nearest point and the same thing also doing now we are simple doing this now we are same thing also we are doing we are simple using the distance and using this distance we are building a circles if we are now we are finding if they are have any point if yes then the same process will be done if no then we will stop to find our one nearest neighbor point okay this is the simple trick so what will you are doing here we are here first we are doing here a suppose we are doing here what we do we have taken a point x x q that is our query point that is our query point and its coordinates is like x q and uh, y q query point so first we compare the using root node and find a point and according to this point we have built a, a circle and we have built a circle in 2d or a hypersphere in a hypersphere in a uh, n dimensional space hypersphere by simple using the radius if this distance is if this distance is d by simple radius and center x q center by simple center we have using the q point if we if we call this point is the q by simple q point we have using a center and we have built its radius as a d by simple and we are finding we have find they are have any point or not it is first step in next step we are finding first step in the next step we are find they are have any point or not if this answer is yes then uh, we have find the interceptor then yes then find the interceptor then find the interceptor so here in this example say i find the interceptors is y is equals to y1 simple this is the simple i'll think and uh, on this on these interceptors now we are going to the another directions on this we are finding the another directions by simple the same thing here and we are reaching the uh, the same things also repeat again repeat again the same thing just this is the job we have to do to find the one nearest neighbor so just to see uh, just see this thing here how many how many comparisons we have to make here so first of what first first i am using another color first i am uh, i am doing the first comparisons here second comparisons i am doing here third comparisons i am doing here to build our this point and this simple this point now uh, now the now the thing is that now uh, to build this point and also at the this point is actually to comparing this point here is this point is a root node or not a leaf node or not here also i am comparing here this is equal or not so if this is not equal i am taking as a i am taking this point as the one a, a one a, 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 and according to this according to this we find the distances so to find the distance is a simple order of one time and uh, after that we are build a, a circles on the on using this using this point using our q point as center and uh, the distance as radius and distance as radius we are building this this is a circle and after that we are finding there have any point on this circle or not if yes then we are finding the interceptors for this point so here we are finding the interceptors is here so finding the intercepts on the, it is a simple easy task now we are coming to this this interceptor term and we are we are now we are moving the next part so next part means here we have to compare another point this point into compare and 
again we have to compare this find this point and if we reach this point then our we have to decide that our one nnn is done this e will be our one nnn and uh, if not if they are have uh, if they are have or another point on this region we are doing the same job again so but just in these examples we have seen this thing we have we have doing sample five comparisons here okay so this is the one this is the one two three four five these five comparison we have to make to find the um one n and we have seen that for one n and in this examples it's simple e i think you have understand this thing okay so just uh, just if you just summarize this thing so number of comparisons so what do we have to make so number of So number of comparisons to find one n n n in there have two best cases. If here is actually best cases. If our all the things is okay, okay. So in the best cases, in the best cases we have seen how much comparisons. In the best cases we have to see. Suppose in the first cases we have no here in such is just here one point. In the best cases if suppose there have no oh, extra point. So how much comparisons? Here we have how much point? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 points. Total 8 points. And how much comparisons we have doing here? 1, 2, 3. So on this in the best cases we have doing in a lock in comparisons. So in the best cases if we have all the things are okay in the best cases our minimum number of comparisons it or order of log in and in worst cases if we have not such kind of things or not happen here suppose there are many 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 points suppose there are many many points so what's case will be like this suppose here here is the simple four 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 suppose here this is one region this is another region here this is another regions and here suppose let's take another regions suppose let's take our query point is like here in such in such cases so in such cases we have to we have to compare for each regions in these regions these regions maybe these regions so in such cases we have to we have to compare worst case we have to compare for edge points so but just here if you see here it is not a best case as well as or is not the worst case so in odds case our uh, our time complexity will be simply order of n order of n so but the perfect analysis this is the just simple just see this thing in two dimensions that's the same thing also we have doing it in diamond uh, when for n dimensions i think this clear this i this idea is clear all of you how to find the uh, by simple comparison using comparison technique how to find the one nn if you use if you just find the one nn just simple extend this concept to find the knn it will be easy for us so if we just uh, interest to find the knn so how to do it first we have first we have to find the one nn in the next step what we have to do it is stored in a one in one array and in next step the same thing is also doing so in the next step what will be the closest point on this one so c in the next step the same thing it is store another array and next in the next step also same things also doing for the here suppose here d and the e b such such kind of things also repeat by storing in this uh, n, n n point by in a in a simple array up to up to k number of points by storing simple this thing this kind of This is suppose our k n n first we have to store over here first here first point we have to store here then it is storing then we have found the next one n n we have to store here next just oh, just remove this point from our data sets in the next we have to move store another point and remove this point from our data set next we have to store this point and remove this point from our data sets just loop this thing again and again by removing and storing in one array so this is if you just this is a simple extension of knn a one nn to knn so the best case complexity for knn so the best case complexity for knn is what order of k of log n and the worst case complexity 
the simple order of k the same thing i think uh, this thing is you understand how the thing how the using this kd3 concept how to find the nearest neighbor and so also we'll see when we have to, uh, where we have um, when we have learning when we will learning the decision tree concept then the same same concept is also applicable there so we will see in the next lectures okay